at Regina from Georgia. Um, I know my question is I've determined that that I did commit a sin and I'm not going to say what it was and with um, different men and different circumstances I know I am forgiven but now that I am learning about uh, sowing and reaping my heart is uh, hurt and my spiritual I'm spiritual sad, spiritually sad because I wonder if this same thing could happen in my marriage. Um, what, you, you see, you're you're beating yourself for nothing. Once you repent, the sin is blotted out, and God doesn't want to hear about it again. So there's nothing there to reap because the sowing is erased. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're causing yourself worry for naught. Okay. That's the beauty of Christianity is total forgiveness. You know, some, some people like to make second-class citizens even out of Christians. All the divorcees get over here and all this there, even though these people have repented. And God's not a respecter of persons. Because, but when forgiveness is given, that's, again, the beauty of Christianity, it's over. It's done. There's nothing there. And God, as God would say, I don't want to hear about it again. Manuel from California. I am sorry it took me 50 years to find you. I have not, I have not been baptized because I do not fit the, the churches here teach or I don't believe what they teach. And they don't seem to have God's spirit. Well, I go to hell for this. If I had the means... I could fly out and be baptized there. Any Christian can baptize another Christian, okay? You don't have to go to some church to be baptized. I know if you were to want to join a particular church, many churches would not recognize the baptism of one Christian to another, but Christ will. That's the most important thing. And um, and so, so get her done, all right? You, you're all... All right, no problem.